Hey guys, it's Talk Recycling FPV. It is February 24th, 2022, and I had been up, my wife and I had been up both all night long getting ready. We had to get 105 uh, DIY plug-in pilot solderless drone kits ready to deliver to uh, local junior high here. A big, big drone program, and um, that was a big deal. We had 12 hours to basically do all the soldering and get it all ready. And we do it in-house. We don't have anybody else do it for us, obviously. Um, so anyways, which is probably the best way to, now that I'm tired and I'm probably a little more calm about this, but I am going to address uh, what, what went up yesterday on my Facebook page and uh, what was brought to my attention by a customer basically is that um, uh, Josh Bardwell did a video, I think around February 10th or so, something this month, touting the uh, solderless or solder free, I think their term is solder free, drone kit, uh, DIY drone kit from Rotoriot and and I didn't even know anything about it until I got a call sorry my phone's just ringing off the hook uh, until I got a call um, and the call was uh, or sorry I got, a, I got an email and it was like hey wh what's this deal Bardwell saying that uh, Rotoriot is the first to uh, create a plug uh, plug and play solder free kit um, and that the you know this hobby has needed it and finally somebody has done it uh, they have and I'm like I don't know anything about it well all right I'm just gonna play you the video because then you'll understand this and I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible and maybe you'll get the under maybe you'll understand it maybe you won't I have no idea but this is gonna try to explain what the issue is at least from my end um, so let me do this let me show you the Bardwell video first now what I've done is I've taken the beginning of it the intro because it's where he first mentions it and then I've taken the uh, 12 minutes and 50 something seconds into the video where he touts it as being nobody's ever done this before until now, citing road riots thing. So here, here goes. Ready? Let me just uh, let me put that up here. Uh, and here we go. One of the biggest challenges with getting into FPV is that you have to learn to solder. But Rotoriot has just released a product that is supposed to solve that problem. Oh. This has been something that has been a long time coming in FPV, and everybody says, "Why doesn't somebody do it?" And no, and it's like it's not rocket science, no. and no one has done it until now. All right. So. So here's the deal. Um, that's what got under my skin. There's a few reasons why. Number one, um, you know, you've got a guy that's got a huge following, right? I mean, huge. As a matter of fact, I don't know how many. I don't know how many he's got, but I, I think I've got something pretty close here to find out. Uh, anyways, I don't know. He's got maybe a couple hundred thousand followers, I think. Uh, I mean, I have four thousand, so obviously we're very small. And much respect for getting those followers. But with that respect, also, you know, you, you've tagged yourself, and this is to you, Josh. You've tagged yourself as the FPV know-it-all. And I don't agree with that term at all for you, but you've tagged it and I give you the respect I can for it as much as I can. But this is one of those examples where you have completely missed the mark. And yeah, I feel cheated on it. I, I do feel cheated. Number one, I know you know who I am because you featured two cyclone videos in your feeds last year. I know you know who we are, right? Uh, so I'm not gonna accept that oh, you don't know who Cyclone FPV is because you, I think you even gave, gave us this uh, like chat of the week or whatever it was called for the DJI thing, DJI thing that we were doing to help people. So, but even if you didn't know what we did, if you're gonna be a know-it-all, right? You're gonna do research and you're gonna go find out. And if you had just gone to the web, right? Like, like I'm gonna do now, let, let me just let me just go here. Right? If you had just gone to the web and you had typed so solder free drone in, this is their term now, this is the Rotoriot term, solder free. If you would type that in, you would see there's the video, and then you would see right here is them, and then right here is us. Can you see that right there? That's Cyclone FPV plug-in pilot uh, DIY kit, right? And then here's another one from us, right? So what I don't understand is, what I don't understand is, is you went and you gave Rotoriot credit for being the first company to, to bring this to, to, to the FPV community. Uh, and he went on to, to say it even more like I think it's uh, I want to say it's even here like look, look 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 let me just show you here here's their video and here's your comments must be so happy right now he's been pushing this for years also chopper girl has been pushing this idea for a long time and must be really thrilled to see that somebody finally implemented or somebody has finally uh, implemented whatever I mean but here's the deal you're acting like it's new and and we've been doing it for almost two years a little over two years actually but we've had the trademark on plug and pilot which is our take on the word plug and play plug and pilot was was it was filed in 2020 okay at the u.s patent and trademark office and just in case in case we don't believe that look it's right here all right 
So let me, let me see if I get my mouse to work here. Look right here. Plug in pilot, and it was filed in September 2020, put up for opposition in March 2021, and then approved in November 2021. I mean, it's not, I'm not making this stuff up. And I know a lot of you guys are like, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? Well, here's the big deal. We spent two years, we've been doing this for two years, a little over two years, okay? Definitely been doing it a lot since COVID, and we've shipped out, we've put plug-in pilot, plug-in pilot solderless or plug-in play, how we want to use it, so you understand the terminology. Solderless drone DIY kits with videos to teach you how to, to build it and to program it. Put over a thousand of those between kids and adults in their hands. Why? Because we had schools contact us because we provide curriculum and they said, listen, we got stay at home kids now. We need this really to hurry up here to, to make it friendly for the kids too because um, they're not coming back to school for a little bit. That was in 2020, all right? And we had started doing this in 2019 for curriculum for kids that um, weren't, either weren't coming to school or teachers that weren't comfortable with the soldering. So we were already developing this and we've been selling them and it's there to search on the internet solderless drone kids we're on the first page and i think we're the first one actually if you go here this is what solderless drone kits pulls up first one there's an ad uh, there it is it's plug and pilot this is us we're the second one out of out of uh out of these many results we're on the first page segment and on solder free we're down here right below uh road right and, and another company and another company here we go right here okay but we're there if you look for it we're there if you if you try to find it but we got zero mention. Not only did we not get mentioned at all, the credit has been given that for, to be the first company to do this has been given to Rotary. We beat them to the punch a long time ago. Guys, I mean, at least stand up. I want Rotary to step up and be like, man, you guys, you, you did. And granted, Bardwell's the one who made the claim. But, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe, maybe it'd be cool if Rotary actually saw what we did because you want to know the difference? Here's the difference. Rotorite tells you what you're going to buy, and that's the kit you're going to buy. What will we tell you? You can pick anything in our inventory. We'll make it plug-in pilot uh, compatible for you, right? That's a feature that we're the only ones who offer. So when I put this out there yesterday and I was upset, I had people like this Ryan Macaluso guy. I don't know what this guy's deal is, but he's kind of a chump. But he's just like throwing all this stuff out like, oh, you think you invented the wheel and blah, 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 blah. Here, look, and then this guy, was it? Dan Preston's laughing about it. Yeah, invented the wheel. Listen, putts. I don't think I invented the wheel. I think I made the wheel better, okay? That's a fact. I don't think I invented drones or FPV or plugging systems, but I made the plug-in pilot DIY at home kit solderless with a video series the best on the market. I, I still am waiting to find out who did it before me. I'm still waiting. It doesn't, I'm not looking to say we're the first, although I do believe we're the first. I do believe it, but that's not what this is about. Because here's the deal. I've got, I've got Josh Bardwell, the know-it-all, saying Rotorite's the first. Nobody's arguing that. But when I say we were before them, now everybody says, no, you're not, you didn't discover anything. This was already out there. Show me. I offered Ryan $100 and said, show me the company that did what we did. So let's be fair. I said, show, show me the company. And here's what we do, right? Here's our drone. We have, we have our section here, or you could pick your parts. But here's what's important. Here's our build videos for one specific series. 17 videos, okay? 16 here, and then you have your receiver series. Oh, sorry, let me show you this way. There you go. That's on our fpvprofessor.com, okay? That's just for one of the kits that we do. And if you want to see what we do, look, there. We do CTE and STEM programs for the schools. And we provide them with plug and pilot, or for sake, you know, understand, plug and play solderless kits. Show me somebody else that does this. Show me somebody that did this, that has been doing this before we brought it to the table. That's what I want to see. I want to see because, I, I mean, it went from Bardwell claiming they're doing it to other people saying, this isn't new, this has been done before, telling me that we didn't do anything big. You're wrong, we did. We did something big. But you guys don't want to admit it, whether it's because you don't like the fact that I'm new to the hobby and we're being pretty creative, or you don't like me because you just don't like me. Who cares? But let's be honest about something. Our focus is on these kids, not you. I don't care about you. I don't sleep thinking, I don't go to sleep wondering, how are you doing today? Oh, did you enjoy your drone today? I don't care. So Mr. Macaluso, close your mouth, take the challenge, find the company, but you're throwing garbage at me, right? Like this. Like, 
but five or six years ago, plug versus solder was a debate. But nobody's talking about plug versus solder. Plugging systems have been around forever. But has there been a DIY, an FPV drone DIY kit with, you can pick your parts, you can do your drone, we'll send it to you ready to go and we'll create the videos for you to build them. Show it to me and I'll give you a hundred bucks. Now, just to be fair, show it to me pre-2019. Don't, don't tell me flight test did it. And let me, be, let me preface this, much respect to flight test. As a matter of fact, I have never said this before, I'll say it right now, of all the companies out there, every company out there that's the only company that has my full respect flight test is to me the god of the drone industry because they don't put money before the people everybody else money 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 that's it and somehow people are convinced that's good it's not this flight test group they they, they got it man they're smart so i'm not dogging them at all as a matter of fact i would be honored to be able to meet them and sit with them and just just learn from them because their business is smart i mean they're just impressive to me so when i say flight test didn't do it just understand i've got people telling me flight test done i said show me now, i've gone to flight test website show me okay it doesn't mean they haven't done a lot but we're talking about a very specific thing here a diy drone kit that you can plug all the parts in now parts are these are three inch kits, or two inch kits, I guess, to five inch kits is what we provide right now. Not don't tell me about a whoop with these stupid little plugs. We're talking about a drone kit. You're learning how to build, you're understanding the components. So for us, that is GPS, VTX, camera, flight controller, ESC, motors. Then here's your beta flight instructional video so that you know how to set it up properly. Show me that, I'll give you a hundred bucks. But don't come at me attacking me like this guy, Macaluso, just it's like he, he wants to hear himself talk here. And then he copies it. He says, how about $10,000? Here's a thread from 2020 about how common solderless builds are. But stop yapping for nothing. Nobody's talking about this like that. It is a kit, a DIY kit with video instructions for the specific hardware you want. Now, even this doesn't tell me anything. We know he mentions the vendetta. We know the vendetta, you moron. We understand the idea about plugging motors in. That's not a DIY kit. Then he says something about DJI. They don't have it. Look, he says, I guess you haven't heard of TBS. You haven't been around or you're too new to know about TBS and the modular quads. But like I told you, I don't know what concerns me more. That you've been around so long and you know so little. Or that I've been around a lot less than you and I know so much more because what you're pointing out here is not what we're talking about, but you just want to keep talking. But fine, so we'll, Macaluso is just, he's a waste of my time right now, but I'm showing him, but my deal for a hundred bucks is still on, just stop talking. And if you want to put 10 grand on it, if you want to put 10 grand on it, I'll make you a deal. You put 10 grand into an escrow account and I will bet you $10,000 that nobody prior to us has given the opportunity for people to pick out of inventory whatever equipment they want to build their drone out of, convert it to solderless plug and play format, create custom videos for them so they can follow it on the internet and then ship it. You want to put 10 grand? Be a big man and I want to see if you have the 10 grand. So let's agree on that or else just be quiet a minute and focus on the point. Now, here's the next part. I have TJ Williams. TJ Williams, explain to me. Flight test had this years ago. What did they have years ago? What, what did that, this, this is, you said you created this or you had something to do with it? This is an HTLRC stack, F438 stack that somebody put banana plugs on. What the hell does this have to do with a DIY drone kit and help videos to put it all together? Where is the kit? You're showing me things, plugs. Uh, there is another company uh, that they, they, they also made the Black Widow Motors. Starts with a Z. They had this. Nobody's talking about this. We're not talking about plugs. We're talking about the entire kit. Done properly, you pick your components, we ship it to you, you build it watching the videos we make for you. Who does that? Nobody did it before us. And it's not about saying, ooh, look how awesome we are. It's about saying, look, 
when you got a guy on the internet giving credit to another group of guys, they're all buddies here. And we don't get mentioned at all, yet we've put over a thousand of these in schools and in homes. And nobody thinks to do a search first to see who is first. If we're, let's just hypothetically say this, and I'll leave it at this. If we are first, man, yeah, you know what? It's substantial. It is a substantial thing for me. And let me show you why. This is why. There, right there, it's substantial. Because while all the other guys are out flying and worried about themselves and having a good time, nonetheless, I don't fly. I get criticized for not flying. Why would you criticize? Look how many drones are on the screen right there. All those kids, 110 kids, built their drones on their own last semester. This morning, we delivered 105 more of them. That is something I want to, I am very proud of. My wife and I did it together. I'm very proud. I have every right to be proud of it. And I have every right to be concerned when somebody else, somebody who knows it all, doesn't even mention us and then gives the credit for developing this kind of a setup to somebody who's, they're, they're buddies. Well, I'm sorry I'm not your buddy. I'm sorry I'm not your friend. I'm sorry I don't call you or give you free stuff. Here's what I do. I put 18 hours a day into this hobby. Building, developing, drawing, cutting. Nothing is done overseas here. We do the soldering in-house. We do all the work. So when it does come time to put a focus on something like this, why not? Why not recognize a company that's been doing it and doing it well? That's what upsets me. And then to have the feedback from some of you guys like, I'm not saying we invented the wheel. I mean, one of you asshats said, Macaluso, you invented the wheel. You think you invented the wheel? I mean, and it's like, and look, this is what we get. You get some smarty here. What is his name? Dan something or other. Look, he thinks it's, he thinks it's funny. Oh, Dan Preston, you're going to laugh. We don't think we invented the wheel, but it's not funny. Because here's what we did do. We spent two years in development so far. And more money than I want to admit to, to figure out what products what wire harnesses, what solder we're gonna use, how we're gonna do it so that kids don't break it, how we're gonna do it so that it can handle crashing so it's not a one hit wonder for these kids when they're flying and then boom, they can't do any more for class. There's so much, it's not rocket science like Bardwell said. I'm sure it's not, but it's damn, damn difficult to figure out what components you're gonna use given the environment that your audience is most likely gonna be children and maybe parents with children who are both doing this for the first time. So yeah, there's a lot that went into it. So when I got smart Alex here saying you didn't invent the wheel, and you know what, you're right, I didn't invent the wheel. Here's what I did. Somebody invented the wheel. Somebody invented, I don't know, the engine. I brought them together. That's what I did. Somebody invented the plugs. Not me, not you. Somebody invented or created the flight controllers and the motors and all that, and it's been sitting there. And like Bardwell said, it's been needed for so long. And if you look at the comments on there, oh my God, this is what the community needs. Oh my. So granted, we, didn't, we don't have the word out there. We don't have the power. But if you're gonna do a story on it, at least mention us, we did it first. And if we didn't do it first, show me the company that did. I'm not arguing if we did it first. I'll tell you we did it before Rotor Riot. So it's not fair to say that first. So, so let's just have this and we'll leave it here. The people that are arguing with me are saying, she didn't do anything, man, this has been around for five years. Okay, two things, one, show me. Show me what we offer, show me somebody else offering that. Obviously not the exact same hardware because technology changed. Show me the idea of having the kit. You pick your parts, we make it, we fit it for you in-house, we fit it so we can pick from 200 flight controllers, 5,000 motors, whatever you want. We're gonna do it for you the way you want it. But if you don't want to solder, we're gonna make it solder. We're gonna plug and pile it for you. And then we're gonna build an identical one here and make a video so that when you get yours, you can watch the video and you can build it along. Show me somebody that did that, you got yourself a hundred bucks, okay? But then again, stop there. If you do find them, I'm giving you the hundred just because you did work. You're, you're owed money for your work. I'm not telling you it can't been done. I don't think it's ever been done like that, but maybe it has. But then it brings me to the next question. So then why is Bardwell saying Rotorai did it first? So is he wrong? Is he wrong 
if they're, he's saying they get it first because you guys think somebody else did. And if somebody else didn't do it first before us, then that means we did it first. So then is he wrong? Either way, the outcome is it's wrong. And people are arguing with me because they don't get it, because it's my income, because it is what I've put my time into. While you're flying, I'm working on this stuff. We, together, this hobby works. You have the developers, the designers, the creators. That's us, that's me. I'm the one who draws the CAD work out here. I'm the one who cuts the carbon fiber. I'm the one who does the sanding. I'm the one who does the programming. I'm the one who does the soldering. I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm saying that's my job. I'm not the one who flies though. You guys are the ones that fly. You keep the hobby going. So do I. So give credit where it's due. And in this case, that entire plug and pilot setup, the trademark is ours, not plug and play, plug and pilot. The purpose of the trademark is to show you guys we had been doing this for two years, okay? And then when you tout it as being some huge thing the community needed, do a search and find out that we brought it first. Or at least that we brought it big before Rotor Riot, but because we didn't send it for free, we didn't get credit on it. It's upsetting, guys. If you had invested the amount of time and money I invested, and my wife has invested to make this happen for these kids, you would be disappointed. And you'd wonder, wait a minute, is this really like a, I know it all, or is it a pat my back, pad my pocket, and I'm gonna mention you? That's just not cool. It's not cool. And just so you're aware of something, just so that maybe you, I, I point something out to you here, just in case, in case you doubt what I'm saying, let me show you something here. Here's our Facebook page. Look at what we did, look at this almost seven hours ago. This is my, <laughs> Brandon, I haven't even read the comments yet. This is my wife and I working 12 hours straight throughout the night. This isn't even all of it. 105 stacks completed, okay? And, and, and just in case you wanna know, there's my wife. And look at this, this is 12 hours ago. It is 3.15 in the morning. This was like two something in the morning my wife was soldering and doing all this work. Look. My dogs are passed out. So when you wonder why I take it personal and why I get upset, this is why. Because we're busting our butt to do this. And a guy with so much power because he's got followers could just, we don't even get mentioned. It's like we didn't even exist. Look, know it all. Josh, I'm asking you, bud. You know, give respect where it's due here. And this part, this is our credit. Whether you want to admit it or not, guys, or whether it pisses you off because you don't like me, tough. If you guys care about the community and you care about the kids and them getting in this, we are focused on the kids more than most people. I, I believe flight test beats the crap out of us in that area because they're so big and they've got such an awesome thing for kids. But we're doing our best. I have 15 desks out here for kids. I got a field out there for kids. There's no adults here. It's for kids. We've transitioned because that's our focus because they appreciate a lot of what we do. That's a community to me. All right? You don't have to like me, but if you like this hobby and you really want to see kids do well, then at least support what we're doing for the kids. All right. Well, to my wife, I'm going to tell you right now, you're a beast. You soldered half of that stack. You soldered the other half I soldered, and I'm just so proud of you. I love you. Couldn't have done it without you. And you see, guys, at the end of the day, it's that hard work that I just want to be recognized for. If you're going to say something about it, if you're not going to talk about it, fine. But if you are going to talk about it, give us our credit for it. $100 bet is still, $100 offer is still out there, guys, okay? And don't give me bits and pieces. I've made it very clear. Don't waste my time with the other stuff. And if you can't, then at least say, admit it. Just admit that Road Ride didn't do it first. Let's start there, and then let's backtrack, and then maybe give us a little bit of credit as well. All right, listen, that's it for now. I'm tired. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go do a couple things. I got some drone kits to build here. I've got some custom drones to build too. And, uh, anyways, all right. You guys have a good day. God bless. Be safe. And most of all, guys, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. And to my boys, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden, I love you guys very much. I will see y'all later. And to my wife, thank you for being my rock. You are amazing. And I don't know how many wives would support a guy that does this much work in this hobby in 18 hours a day and you're staying up till you know 24 hours to help him with his stuff. But I'm gonna tell you what, 
on behalf of all the kids who are getting these drones and the schools and the parents and me and everybody, I'm gonna tell you right now, you kick butt and thank you very much, okay? To all the rest of you guys, come on, just give us a little bit, okay? We'd appreciate it. Peace, bye.